Cut to the chase to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Nelson here, and our idiom or expression today is to cut to the chase. This idiom has its origin in the motion picture industry, and it has to do with the fact that in early movies, early films, there were exciting parts in the movies and action scenes, battles, or uh, all different types of attention getting scenes mixed with dialogue or slower expression explanation type scenes to tell the story and sometimes to keep audiences interested the filmmakers or the film showers would cut to the chase they'd go to the exciting parts to keep people interested so they wouldn't get up and leave the theater so they wouldn't get up and be dissatisfied with the movie I think of movie trailers I think movie trailers are a perfect example of how they show the most interesting parts of the film to get our interest to get our attention and they get us to go to the theater and get us to go to the movies so to me trailers are a perfect example of cutting to the trace chase it's why we do marketing it's why we pull out the pieces of our message and what we do for people in order to supersize and grow our business we show them the parts that are most interesting to them in order to get their attention and get them to be interested in our business our products our services etc so this idiom over time went from meaning cut to the the exciting scenes to highlighting the most interesting the most important parts of a message uh, I I like to think I'm a very direct person and that I get to the point right away not always but I try and I have had a lot of people come in and out of my life that are totally not direct they talk in circles I was actually married to a gentleman that talked in circles so much it literally made me crazy because I'm like get to the point get to the point and I've interacted with people where they're telling a story and if you ask a clarifying question they go all the way to the beginning and they start over again uh, it's not the same as circling back and following up it's just talking in circles manipulating you know providing misinformation in the way they present their information super frustrating to me I'm like get to the point show me the most important thing tell me what you need me to do ask me a direct question uh, tell me how I can help right I want a what's the shortest path to this leave out all the irrelevant detail stuff that is is important to you maybe but not to the person that you're talking to so highlight the things that are most important to the people that you serve when you're delivering messages in your business make sure you are covering the most important most interesting most relevant parts to the person that you're talking to or the audience that you're sharing it with love to know your particular uh, experience with this idiom I've had lots of experience with this idiom I guarantee I've used it lots of times and maybe I haven't said cut to the chase but I've definitely said can you get to the point could you please um, tell me what's most important about this right now how can I help right now etc uh, I think of the Myers-Briggs personality tests and disk analysis tools and things and the different type of personalities that we are and how we tend to behave in normal situations versus stressful situations and how we need to remember to treat people the way we want to be treated when it comes to human beings but also treat them and speak to them and communicate with them in the way that's best for them you know there's all different types of people and we have to never assume that everybody thinks like we do because guess what almost nobody thinks exactly like we do all right have an awesome day love to know your take on this particular idiom cut to the chase share in the comments below and I will of course be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom what does it mean where does it come from and how might you use it to supersize and grow your business have a great day